What's going on, people? Welcome to another episode of Fix It Yourself, Big Buck TV. And um, today we're changing the iMac sensor. The iMac sensor looks something like this. Check it out. Looks something like this, basically. They say you're supposed to change this every 100 to 200,000 miles. What it does, hell, I don't know. But basically, when it goes bad or it gets clogged up too much, it can make you think that you need a brand new turbo, basically. That's what they say. Um, I brought this truck which is a 2014 Peterbilt 388 and it had 224,000 miles right now the engine have 537 thousand miles on it and I never had to change one yet but since they say you're supposed to change one every 100 to 200 thousand miles I'm just gonna go ahead and get it out the way anyway check it out to get started all I need is a 10 millimeter um, socket and a little ratchet it's, it's only one boat Go ahead and take this off and you also want to make sure that you, once once you're taking this off you want to make sure that you don't get no dirt inside there or anything anything basically hard that can flow through your engine system take this one screw out like that like this backwards and forward and try not to break it from what I saw in the videos anyway see don't come right out you got to kind of like take your time with it and work it side to side back and forth side to side back and forth ah got it as you can see I got out and she's pretty dirty compared to this one so now I have to go ahead and take the harness off by pressing that and release. Done deal. Go ahead, plug the, the new one in. Uh, done deal. Make sure that you pull it out and it don't come right out. And you put it back down the way it came out. Gently, nice. Apply a little pressure, work it. There you go, she's in. Take the screw, put the screw back in. I just saved myself 5,800 bucks plus labor. Um, if I would have, if, if I would have been having turbo problems, power problems, thinking that was turbo issues, and it could have been that little, what that piece costs, seventy-six dollar part, seventy-six dollar part. They have had people brought brand new turbos and still was having the same issues, and it was a seventy-six dollar part. And probably back then it was a little bit cheaper. So I'm saving myself that headache. I don't need it, but hey. I exceeded my miles. So, there you go. It took me less than, how long is this video? To do it? Y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching Fix It Yourself. I'm your boy, Big Buck, Woody. You know, I'm an owner operator. These videos are made for owner operators out there who just get in the trucking industry, that just purchase their own trucks, and you wanna know how to do it yourself. Make sure you subscribe. Well, not, not subscribe, I'm sorry. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time.